In this video, we are going to prove that limit theta tends to 0 sin theta over theta is equals to 1 with the help of the figure alongside. First, let's, let's understand the figure. In this figure, we can see P is any point in the circle whose center is at O and OP makes angle theta with the horizontal axis x axis. Here, line PM, line PN is tangent to circle at point P and line PM is perpendicular to horizontal axis OX. You can see here, line PM is perpendicular to the axis horizontal x axis OX and PA meets line OX at point A. Now, with the help of this figure, we are going to prove that limit theta tends to 0 sin theta over theta is equals to 1. For that, first of all, we are going to find out the area of triangle O, A and P. We can see, you can see here, uh, here is point O, here is A and here is P. Then what will be the area of triangle O, A, P? Of course, the area of triangle is given by half base into height. So, area of triangle O, A, P equals to 1 by 2 into O, A into P, M. O, A is base of triangle OAP and PM is its height. So, area of triangle OAP is given by 1 by 2 into base into height. Now, what is the value of OA? Here, we can see OA is equals to the radius of this circle. So, OA equals to R, where R is the radius of circle. And what is the value of PM? Here, you can see in this figure O, P and M. In this triangle O, P, M. Here, sin theta equals to sin theta equals to what is the value of sin theta in opm in triangle opm sin sin theta is equals to pm over op so what will be value of pm the value of pm will be op sin theta which is equals to r sin theta because here you can see op op is also equal to radius of the circle in the figure so the area of triangle will be 1 by 2 into r times r sin theta and it will be equal to 1 by 2 r square sin theta now I think you have understood this now let's move forward now we are going to find the area of this sector OAP. First, we got the area of triangle OAP. We got the area of triangle OAP. And now, we are going to find the area of this sector. What do you mean by sector? A sector is any part of the circle. We have this whole circle. And sector means only this segment of the circle. Only this part of the, only this segment of circle is known as sector. Here, let me show you. Here, you can see this portion of the circle is known as sector now what is the area of that part how do you find the area of that part of the circle well it's easy first you need to know the area of the whole circle what is the area of whole circle the area of circle is given by pi r square and area of sector area of sector with angle theta is equals to pi r square by 2 pi times theta this will be equal to this pi and pi will be cancelled and this will be equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 times r square theta so now 
we have got the area of sector OAP also which is given by 1 by 2 into r square theta so I have also written uh, how how this area of sector is equal to 1 by 2 times r square theta here if you haven't uh, understood before here for 2 pi angle because this circle makes a complete when a circle makes a complete turn the total angle is equal to 2 pi so for 2 pi angle the total area is equals to pi r square which is area of this circle and if the angle of sector was only 1 degree for 1 degree angle the area would be pi r square by 2 pi which came from the unitary method pi r square divided by this 2 pi so but we have this sector of angle theta here so the total area would be for theta angle I'm sorry this should have been angle here for theta angle area is equals to 1 by 2 times pi r square times theta so I have you have understood this also now after this we are going to find out the area of this larger triangle OPN you can see the triangle OPN in the figure we are going to find out the area of triangle OPN now what will be the area of triangle OPN it is also given by 1 by 2 times base into height but here base is equals to OP and height is equals to PN why because you can see this angle OPN this angle OPN in this in at this point P it is 90 degree here this is a right angle triangle OPN why because since PN is a tangent tangent only makes 90 degree with the line that passes through uh, this center of the circle here OP is the line that passes through the center of circle and PN is tangent at the same point P so PN and OP are perpendicular to each other this angle at P is 90 degree so PN is our height and OP is base of the triangle OPN so what will be the area of triangle OPN obviously it will be 1 by 2 into OP times PN which is 1 by 2 times base into height so let's write it down first uh, so now we had got we have got the area of triangle OPN is also equals to 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 times OP times PN here OP is also equals to the radius of circle which is equals to R and what will be the value of PN now let's find out the value of, value of PN now here in triangle OPN in triangle OPN tan theta will be equal to PN over OP since tan theta is equal to perpendicular over base here PN is perpendicular and OP is base in right angle triangle OPN so tan, tan theta will be equal to PN by OP which gives PN equals to OP tan theta which will be equal to since OP is uh, radius of circle which will be equal to R tan theta so area of triangle will be equals to 1 by 2 times op is equals to r so r times pn equals to r tan theta so r times r r tan theta which will be equals to 1 by 2 r square tan theta there you go here we have got the area of triangle OPN2 now let's see here here area of triangle OPN we got uh, the area of triangle OPN is 1 by 2 times r square tan theta now let's see here we got the area of triangle OPA OAP area of sector OAP and area of triangle OPN now 
let me tell you one thing the area of triangle OAP OAP is always less than or equal to area of the sector OAP uh, which you can realize in this figure also you can see the area of triangle is less than the area of sector if the angle angle theta was so small so small as it 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 was nearly uh, zero degree then it would be equal to the area of sector otherwise it is always less than the area of sector and also the area of sector OAP is always less than or equal to the area of triangle OPN if the point was so near to point A the point P was so near to point A then the area of sector would be equal to the area of triangle OPN but in all other cases the area of sector is always less than the area of OPN so now first we got the area of triangle OAP here then the area of sector OAP 1 by 2 r square theta and the area of triangle OPN now we are going to write that fact here it is now what was the area of triangle OAP it was 1 by 2 r square sin theta is less than or equals to area of sector was 1 by 2 r square theta is less than or equal to 1 by 2 2 r square tan theta which was the area of triangle OPN here we can cut out 1 by 2 r square 1 by 2 r square from all three so we will get sin theta is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to tan theta in place of tan theta we can write sin theta over cos theta now let's divide these all three from with from with sin theta then what will be the result the result will be sin theta over sin theta is less than or equal to theta over sin theta is less than or equal to sin theta by cos theta times sin theta now let's cut out sin theta sin theta and sin theta sin theta from here also then we will get 1 is less than or equals to theta over sin theta is less than or equal to 1 by cos theta I hope you are understanding now what we got was 1 is less than or equal to theta over sin theta is less than or equal to 1 by cos theta now we are going to swap the numerator and denominator then what will happen if we swap the numerator and denominator we will get 1 is greater than or equal to because we are going we are going to interchange numerator and denominator before it was 1 was less than or equal to sin theta by cos theta now it becomes 1 is greater than or equal to sin theta over theta 1 is greater than or equal to sin theta over theta sorry theta is greater than or equal to cos theta now we are going to take limit since we need limit in in our proof we are going to take limit in all these three so limit theta tends to 0 1 is greater than or equals to limit theta tends to 0 sin theta over theta 
is greater than or equal to limit theta tends to 0 cos theta now what will it be limit theta tends to 0 1 means the value of limit theta tends to 0 1 is 1 because there is no theta in here so we don't need to place 0 in place of theta is greater than or equal to uh, we will leave it b because we need to prove that limit theta tends to 0 sin theta over theta is equals to 1 so 1 is greater than or equal to limit theta tends to 0 sin theta over theta is greater than or equals to what is the value of cos 0 degree since we are going to put 0 in place of theta the value of cos 0 is 1 we know that so what we got the result is 1 is greater than or equals to limit theta tends to 0 sin theta over theta is greater than or equals to 1 is it possible if the value of sin theta by theta is not equal to 1 this is never possible so because uh, we got here 1 is greater than or equal to sin theta over theta and sin theta over theta is greater than or equal to 1 it is only possible if and only if sin theta over theta is equals to 1 so that's our conclusion that limit theta tends to 0 sin theta over theta is equals to 1 that's it so now we are going to write it down now so now here is it so thank you very much guys i hope you liked the video if you have any confusion you can freely write in the comment section thank you very much